Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can use multiple master pages in Adobe InDesign. It's pretty easy. So let's get started. So first I am going to create a new document using new document and I will choose a size. So let's say I will go for A4 and then I'm going to choose number of pages eight now i'm keeping this option on facing pages i will show you what this exactly means now columns i'm going to keep it to one and other options i'm going to keep it as they are so click on create so it will create a new document consisting of eight pages so as you can see we have eight pages over here and this section over here shows master pages so presently we have only one master page that is by default called as a master. So if you are not able to see these options over here, like pages and properties, simply go to window and you can uh, turn on pages or properties from here. So now let's say if, if you want to go to the master pages, simply double click. And if you want to change the size of the panel, simply right click and panel options and if you want larger or smaller thumbnails simply choose from here so let's say medium so these are medium sized thumbnails so i'm going to keep it to panel options right click large so that we can easily see the thumbnails of these pages now to demonstrate i'm going to double click on this master page so as you can see these are two master pages and not the actual pages so whatever i draw on these pages now what are facing pages that let me tell you that first so just like a book the pages face each other like this that's why they are called facing pages just like a book so if you don't want the facing pages option turned on you can simply go to properties and uncheck the option so we will get normal pages just like a regular document like in word or in illustrator continuous pages without pages facing each other so i'm for now i'm going to keep it to facing pages just to sh show you something about the master pages now again i'm double clicking over here so i'm going to select a rectangle I'm going to choose the field color and turn off the outline color. So I'm going to draw any random shapes over here. I'm going to choose this color and using the type option. Now remember to type here, we have to draw this rectangle. We cannot simply just click and type. So I'm going to change the size to 48 points. By default, it is set to points and I'm going to use the center line. So let's say I'm going to write a master just to know where we at. So again, I'm going to copy this using the shift key. I have selected both the option now using the alt key and left click. I'm going to copy this just like in Photoshop and Illustrator. So let's say I will write down master page, right? So that we can understand which page we are at and I'm going to change the color of this shape just to make it a bit different now as you can see i created these shapes only on the master pages and they are automatically applied to i'm going to double click to all the pages as you can see this is page number one two three up to eight the master is by default automatically applied to all the pages now let's say i want to create another master page so that is the benefit of using InDesign. So just like in Microsoft Word or any other uh, application, we can only use one header or one footer that applies to all the pages. But here in InDesign, we can use different master pages. So for example, let's say I want to use 10 different master pages and to and apply to specific areas. We can do that in InDesign, unlike the other application. So I will give you a small example so let's say i will right click here and new master now by default the prefix is set to b so i'm not going to change it and number of pages set to two 
so i'm going to create a b master page so this is b master page again i will click again new master and c so this is by default which was there earlier a master b master and c master page now i'm going to draw something double click so this is now b master page so i'm going to draw something else just to differentiate so i will change the color let's say i'm going to draw a couple of shapes again i'm going to write down so let's say 48 points center line again b master shift to select all alt and if you are using mac then option and right click, left click and drag i will change the color of this and this to this one now b master right now firstly i am going to create so double click i am going to create some different shape so let's say this shape over here and again 48 center line c master and just so you know i'm drawing anything random this is there is no purpose apart from uh, to know identify that which page we are at so c master right i'll change the color so i have created b master and c master and uh, i have also added designs so there are two ways to apply these master pages to these pages one is simply click press and hold shift click press and hold shift now right click and apply master pages now you can choose the master page and it is because we have selected these pages so it is automatically showing 4-6 means 4 to 6 and we can simply write down here 4 comma 5 comma 6 and b master so press ok now as you can see on fourth page we have b master fifth page b master like so now from 7 and 8 i will add one more page right click insert pages and one page so i will add over here uh, insert pages so we have nine pages and because we have applied this b master so it is automatically applied over here but let's say i want to apply c right click apply master i will apply c and to 7 comma 8 comma 9 or we can simply say 7-9 so 789 so this is now applied this is page number 7 as you can see 7 8 and 9 c master is applied and to 6 number b master and to 5 this is number 5 and 4 b master and 1 2 3 is a master so this is the example that we can apply or use multiple master pages in InDesign that is why we use InDesign while creating like large books like let's say page book a book consisting of like 200 pages 400 pages or a magazine we can easily design a magazine and use different master pages in Adobe InDesign that's why we use it so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers